It's unforgiving love. When will you come around? When will you come around? When will you come around? It's unforgiving love. First and foremost, if nobody told you as of yet today, I love you. If nobody told you as of yet today, I am proud of you. You're going to continue to achieve anything you set out to do. You understand me? Also, chosen ones, you already know. I do have to give you a brief disclaimer, all right? So I only want you to take what resonates and leave the rest behind, all right? I don't want you trying for certain scenarios for you. If you don't get your confirmation through me, I guarantee you won't get it through somebody else, all right? So be patient with your process. Also, as you already know, my voice is too raspy to be whispering, okay? So this is about the time that you probably want to go ahead and hit that volume. Now, before we get started, as always, I want to thank you so much in advance for all your love, like, share, subscribes, get gifts, kind words, not only to myself, but each other too. I appreciate you, all right? Now, for those of you returning, thank you so much, babies. I'm sending all that love and light back to you. I appreciate you, but let's get started, all right? So for this half of the message... We're going to have to talk about certain individuals that are about to get presented to you, as well as um, you being able to go based upon what God is telling you about the individuals you're coming in contact with, okay? And I say this because chosen ones, you have um, different groups of individuals that are about to be presenting themselves to you. And it's based upon certain manifestations that you have sent out toward you, right? So prior to now, You've been praying for certain things to get presented. So through every stage and phase so far in your life, right? So wait, um, prior to you healing you, as you were healing you, and now that you didn't overcame and disconnected from certain cycles, those are each different sides of you. So you are not who you were when you encountered certain individuals, nor were praying to get them presented, right? So you have multiple people that are going to arrive because you're in the middle of your manifestations. Everything that you once asked for is getting presented to you, and only you will know if it um, no longer suits you, right? So one, there's some of you chosen ones that in the past, um, you were connected certain to certain individuals you thought that they could have been a twin soulmate kingdom spot whatever the case may be the title that you gave them right they were an option they were a possibility they had potential to play certain positions but a lot of them didn't have it within them right so this is um anybody can apply to the job however if it's not built for them if they don't have it within them to play that position they're not going to last them right so chosen ones there's certain people that in the past, you thought were the people that were for you. So you gave them an opportunity. Again, this is equivalent to somebody applying to a job because they just needed um, some money, right? They wasn't looking for a career. They was just looking for something quick. So some of you chosen ones, um, when you encounter certain people, they were just fine looking for a way out of their situation. So some of them were users where they went from one relationship to the next. They needed to go and stay with this person and then go stay with that person. They didn't heal themselves. They didn't like to be by themselves. They had abandonment issues, attachment issues, and you trauma bonded with this individual, right? So they chosen ones are so um, used to people leaving them that when they encountered you, somebody that was loyal, you were there to ride. You were trying to ride it out with them the whole time. This was not, um, that was not your mission. That was not your assignment, right? So there are certain people that when they encountered you, they was just looking for a way out. They felt like they were financially down. They know what direction to go to. They didn't have um, people around them were seeing the truth about this individual, so on and so forth. So you encountered them and you gave them a possibility. You gave them an opportunity, right? So this would be equivalent to that person who says um, they never had bread, never got money, but they got an opportunity for a job and they don't show up to it. So that person who's always complaining about not having no money, don't got a car, don't got a place to um, live, don't got this, don't got that, but when the opportunity presents themselves, they chose not to take it. That's the same type of individuals energetically that you encounter. These are people that were saying everybody around them used them. Nobody truly loved them. Nobody was there for 
before them. Everybody talked mean to them. They were out there making these complaints, saying these certain things. And God was like, you know what? Matter of fact, I got a person for you. I got an opportunity that's going to present itself. And that was you. They crossed paths with you. You was here to make their dreams come true. See, I tell you chosen ones, we don't have to use magic. God made us magical, right? So I tell you that we're similar to um, that genie. But if you rub us the right way, you're going to get more than three wishes. Everything that you want in life is going to be provided for you. We're going to protect you. We're going to speak life into you. We're going to make sure that you're not having to be dependent on us, that you get it yourself. We're going to boost you up. We're going to speak so on and so forth. We're certain individuals that what you add, what you want, mama? What you want, baby? Because whatever you want, you're going to get in a different force. We're going to sit there and speak it. We don't have to. They want abundance. We don't. Yeah, that's cool. We can give them a couple dollars or we could teach them how to get it themselves. See, we're somebody who plants those seeds, chosen ones. So they say they need to eat. OK, I'm going to teach you how to um, farm then. I'm going to teach you how to plant this so that you can get this so that you keep prospering. So you will never have to depend on nobody again. See, they look at you initially and because they feel like you ain't flashing no bread to them because you ain't in the freshest um, attire because you don't got all oh, your nails done, hair done all the time. They didn't see that you had any value the whole time. If you're in the middle of the field, if you're in the middle of the battle, if you're out, actually out here doing the work, you're not always going to look presentable. See, they was used to those people that were salesmen in a sense. They could dress themselves up to sell you a limit. They could dress themselves up to give you something that was going to limit you just so that they can have their way with you. See, nah, we not like that. So because we didn't give them what they wanted at that time, they didn't see your value. See, I tell you chosen ones, now they're going to come back around. See, there are certain people that you encountered, God gave them an opportunity to get away from what they was going through, gave them an opportunity to provide for themselves, gave them certain light that was in you. You was like they lantern in a sense. You, that light within you was the way that they was getting directed. They were seeing certain things. You told them about certain traps that were set. You told them about limitations and restrictions that they was placing on themselves in a sense. See, you're such a helpful person, chosen ones, but sometimes you was helping the people that was hurting you. See, you it was a time limit. See, you was trying to make a temporary job a permanent position and Absolutely not. Right. So let me tell you now, with this being said, those people who chose other people over you. So you were here to protect them. So we, prior to you meeting them, they have witches and warlocks around them doing spells to keep them bound, keeping them in their head so that they ain't leave without them. Some of them was in messed up relationships and they've been trying to get away and they was wondering why they could always had to go back. It's because that person that they was with was doing spells on them. Right. So at that point in time, they was bound to them. We came and sat there and set them free and they end up turning on you because they decided that the place that they were at is a place that they wanted to be see they didn't want to get away they wanted to cry 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 but when they had an opportunity to get it they chose not to see that's almost similar to certain times that you do it too chosen ones See, this is like equivalent to a mother talking about or a parent talking about, oh, they never got time to themselves. And then when they got time to themselves, they don't take the time to themselves. They worry about everybody else as well. Oh, you talking about you so tired and now you got an opportunity to sleep, but you looking over everybody else's shoulder to make sure that they are where they supposed to be. See, you can't. You got to ask. You can't do both. You understand me? So with that being said, chosen ones, there's um, these are the individuals that. They had an opportunity through you. They turned on you to prove themselves to the individuals that they was going through with things with. So when you met them, they was in toxic relationships and you showed them a difference. See, it's not no home record tip that you was intentionally doing that. But when they crossed paths with you, some of these individuals could have been on the break with certain people. Some of these individuals was not in real, um, full title relationships with people. So when they encountered you, you helped raise their vibration. They was like, yo, something's different. They were so used to people belittling them, disrespecting them, using them, abusing them. And here was you. You was pouring into the individual. If they didn't have it and you had it, you gave it. Or if times they didn't believe in themselves, you sat there and spoke life into them. You accepted them for what they were and not what they had or what they was going to get or what they didn't have. You sat there, chosen one, seeing them for the good parts of them, right? See, they did parts that they didn't even see in themselves. They so used to people they around tearing them down, right? So you sat there and encountered them. They didn't believe it so when you came around chosen one some of them again you encouraged them to leave certain situations but because you came with a risk 
because you came with the unknown in the area or territory that they was unfamiliar with, some of them started to get out the door. Then all of a sudden they hurry up and ran back in and locked the door. So they ran away from you. Some of them chosen ones, again, they got caught up in those spells and bounds that those people were putting on them. And they could have broke those spells had they disconnected from them, had they stopped eating with them, had they stopped having sex with them, but they chose not to, right? So those spells that those people were sending towards you and anybody that wanted to help this individual or be with them, it didn't work on you because you were no, you weren't doing karmic shit. The dark can't have access to you as long as you stepping in the light. So that's like the Lion King. You know how they like, yo, you stay out of that zone over there and the other part can't come there where the pride is. That's what it is, right? They couldn't get right. They had to get left. That's just how it is. But chosen ones. Um, some of these individuals, again, um, when you encounter them, instead of getting the opportunity for you to free them or get them out of the situation, they chose to go to the demons and talk about you. So you told them what those people was doing. Like, hey, yo, listen, they doing spell work. You're going to have to get away from them. They went right to the enemy and told them, like, yeah, so-and-so said that you're doing spell work. Whole time, it's true. But now they want to know who was telling them um, the truth about them, who was bringing the light towards it. So they started attacking you. And the whole time they tried to keep those people from being connected to you because you was telling them things that were going to set them free. So that's almost like a kidnapper or somebody who's in a toxic situation or something that's not good. You like, uh, do you know like you're free from that? Do you know that you, they didn't want to listen. They turned on you instead. So that's almost like somebody who was a slave energetically trying to get away. Instead of fleeing with the um, rest of the crew, they said they were turned around to try to tell on these individuals. See, that's why I tell you chosen ones, not everybody, you got to know energetically, not everybody's your people. Not everybody is divine. There's demons in divine. No aside, all right? So with me saying this, those people chosen ones from the past that chose other people over you. Oh, this person um, told them that if they leave them, they'll be on child support. They won't have no place to stay. They won't have this. So they stayed with them. Instead of believing in themselves, they believed in those demons that was putting them down. So they stayed in that trap. And again, a lot of the time they put you at risk because they turned their back on you, knowing that those people was attacking you, knowing those people was watching you, knowing those people was energetically trying to sabotage you. And they still stayed with them. So now they go down with those individuals too. Karma's coming, okay? Now, I say this because they're going to try to return back. These are those mean-ass drunks. These are those disrespectful-ass, abusive-ass, manipulative-ass, restricted-ass. Now they balding-ass. Now they um they used to pass their pipe or pocket around. Now that shit didn't shut down. All of that. They're going to try to return. So everything that they felt was better over you, now they're going to realize that that truly didn't have value. See, you're somebody that's a collectible item. Through time, you start to, your profit continues to rise. You understand not everybody has access to you. People can't play with you like they choose to. See, they got to put you on that pedestal and they're going to see certain your value just keep adding and adding, right? So chosen ones, those people from the past that you once was in relationships with, had children with, they're going to attempt to come back. And I say this because once upon a time, you prayed for that. See, that was before you became who you can't became, set your boundaries, realized who you were so that you started to push away from them. They're going to try to return. Term. Now, I say this because they're going to try to come with their best behavior. They're going to come with, oh, you was right, and oh, um, things been mad. They're going to come with that whole Reuben stutter, this is sorry for 2024 type of vibe. Absolutely not. Get the fuck out of here. Some of them going to be on their driveway tip. Some of them going to be on their Ray J asking for one wish. That's what got you fucked up in the first place. Beat it. Bucko, go home, Roger. You understand me? I'm trying to tell you. Some of these people energetically, you're gonna have to curry them like that motherfucker off for waiting to exhale. Um, when she threw he threw that damn mango up and she threw that shit back at his ass with that leather vest. Cause that's how some of them are coming up. Just looking drunk, funky as shit, got the the your liver on unk. Because you didn't drunk all that damn thing. Try to act like you not. Try to act like you a good person. And you got the I want to rock right now face at this time. Uh-uh. You walk in here with a hot ass vest. You got work boots on it, but you ain't found no work yet. Get out of here. Beat it, bucko. A lot of them try to come through. 
Absolutely not. So, fellas, don't get caught up in shorty trying to come back talking of acting like she's still that, mm-mm. Them bundles is sour. That shit, she ain't had a new shirt, skirt, draw up nothing since the last time that you was connected to her. Shorty is hurting. She ain't took no, you notice that she's still posting them old damn vacation plans. She ain't took a new trip yet. I'm trying to tell you. So, do not get caught up in it. She out here filtering shit. She is hurting. Her stomach, she ain't ate since the time you left, baby. She been going ahead from four for four since you disconnected from her so don't believe the hype they gonna try to come i'm trying to tell you ew they done passed around that pipe and pocket now they want to come and bring that contaminated shit towards you absolutely not swiper no swiping eo peel no sir no sir fuck no nasty we don't want it and i'm telling i'm trying to tell you because some of them chosen ones no they trying to act like it's a surprise what you done passed that motherfucker around. Now it's coming here contaminated. Now you want to act like, oh, no. Because y'all been, we been celibate. They have been out here going Hamilton. And when I tell you chosen ones, again, now this is no disrespect for those of you who may have encountered certain diseases that you stuck with. This is no disrespect. Because some of you know, well, most of you know, if you could go back, you wouldn't want to come in contact with what you have. But there's some, we, we talking about these other people. We got to put them on to it, okay? So let me say this, all right? With me saying it, there's some people that was out here passing their shit around. God told them to sit it down or they was going to catch something. They chose not to. Now they come out here with that B2K, that bump, bump, bump. And now they want to act like it's a surprise to you. Now you out here playing blues, clues, trying to put pieces together. Uh-uh. No. So some of them, they are contaminated. I'm not disrespecting yo, those of you who got, got something because of other shit. We not talking about that. We talking about these other contaminated dirt, dirt ass energies that's trying to come back. No. They're trying to come back and give you? No. Mm-mm. Absolutely not. Y'all's first date should have been that clinic and all the tests included. All the tests included. I'm trying to tell you. Show some ones. Mm-mm. Don't. It ain't no, oh, now they want to talk. Don't even sit too close to their asses. They talking to you and a piece of they spit hit your lip. Absolutely not. Now you out here, how Kevin Hart say with the bum bump and people looking at you. Mm -mm. So relax. All right. It ain't no, oh, let me drink. Just throw the fucking drink away. They even speak over your drink. They out here on their Miss Netta tip. Just you eating your food. They speaking and spreading that shit on that Daffy Duck tip. You throw that whole fucking plate away. Don't take the risk. I know you're going to be mad, but. You're going to live to eat another day, all right? Don't do it. But some of these, uh-uh. So chosen ones, those are the first squads of dirt dirts that's coming back. Those people who chose other people over you, now they starting to realize that they didn't bound themselves to some damn people who got the blues. They was doing love spells on you, and the love spells backfired because it makes you disgusted with the individual. You no longer love that person, so they started doing love spells on the person that they with. They sat there and thought that they was throwing that love spell error to you. That shit ricocheted and hit the person that they with. Now they bound with a car. Now they stuck. Now they can't get away. Now they bound to it. Now they can just look out the window and think about how they want to play. Well, you won't, buddy. You're restricted. You're locked down. You want to be looking out the window. All of us enjoy ourselves while you stuck in the house with that damn demon. Because you was out here deceiting. You wanted it so bad. Now you got that shit. Now you stuck. That's just what it is. Okay? So, no thank you. Swiper, no swiping. Next. Um, so outside of the karmics that you've been there, done that, you had titles with them or you was in an in and out situation for an extended period of times. Absolutely not. It's a no. It's a no. OK, so some of y'all you're going to see now the next group that's going to arrive towards you. OK, um, are individuals that you may have encountered briefly in the past. Now, I say briefly in the past because this came in a point in the time where God, um, you could have been connected to somebody, um, could have been getting out of a toxic relationship, could have been regaining your power from your family, um, starting to realize your worth. You, It was um, as you were having your breakthrough. A lot of you, it was like the Kundalini um, awakening, right? So that's the breakthrough where you finally like breaking out the matrix.
matrix, boundary cycles, all of that, right? So some of you encountered certain people when you were encountering your awakening. So when you crossed paths with them, you felt a click with them, you felt a spark with them, but neither one of you was in the position that you wanted to be in in order to entertain each other. So it was third party energies. Some of it was you disconnecting from cycles you was connected to. Some of it was um, you scared to step out there on faith, feeling like um, your stability was through other individuals. Some of you had third parties, which was your family and friends, opinions. Some of them had vice versa, so on and so forth. But when you guys encountered each other, you guys may not have had no title. Could have been just like a friendship, but again, it had potential. But you wasn't able to take it there with them. Now, I say this because this is somebody that it was not no big dramatic disconnect from them. Your feelings could have been hurt like, dang, you wanted to take it there. You wasn't able to. Um, both of y'all, it just didn't happen, right? Now, I say this chosen ones because some of you did stop this or self-sabotage certain connections. It's not always, um, oh, it was the wrong time. No, some of it, it was the perfect timing, but you ain't listen when God told you to disconnect from people prior to them arriving. So prior to you meeting this person, God was pushing people out your life and you may not have listened at that time. You still could have been slowly disconnecting from them when this person came and encountered you, right? Now I say it's a difference because this is somebody who didn't wish nothing foul on you. They didn't do nothing foul to you, but you could have just been caught up. Um, God could have led to like a minor disagreement or a disconnect that y'all go y'all's other way because y'all had certain things that you had to close out. Now with me saying this, thank you babies. Now with me saying this, um, you'll know the difference because this is not somebody who cheated on you, beat on you, had babies on you, deceived you, so on and so forth. Again, you could have met them at a certain time where energetically you felt a connection, but because of the decisions prior to meeting them, it may not have been able to um, continue to flow together. But God had you, because this was in the process that you were disconnecting from people you wasn't supposed to be connected to, God had you encounter this person to show you that there's something different than the type of person you was holding on to. So you was holding on to to, um, a mean ass person, a petty ass person, a hurting ass person, a nasty ass person. God sat there and had you encounter this person so that you can see that there's other people out there, that you can have a better connection, that there's better out there. <clears throat> Excuse me. So with that being said, chosen ones, some of you encountered them, but there was just a brief things that may have blocked it, right? Those are coming back around. So if you feel like you missed out on love because now that you found yourself, now that you're realizing what love is, you're starting to realize like, dang, I may have came in contact with that previously. Um, this is something where you're realizing what love is. It's not that person with a million dollars. It's that person who has what they have and are willing to work hard to make sure that they provide for you too. Um, if they don't have a million dollars, but they can um, sit there and take you out on a date to feed you. This is somebody that will build with you. Somebody who's not going to leave you. Somebody who who um, speaks highly of you, looks perfectly, we understand you look perfect to them, but again, they could have had other people that was trying to um, distract them, try to hold them back. There's certain people that deliberately try to ruin their reputation, ruin their life to keep them suppressed. So this could have been somebody who had all this potential. And again, the people that they was connected with limited them, so they may have been forced in some messed up situations. Now they're getting out of it. So just know that, okay? Some of it, there get another opportunities getting presented. You'll cross paths with it. If you choose not to take that, it's okay. God will have um, another love come your way. But chosen ones, if you choose to, this is something where you're going to have to know everything that blocked you before. Now think about that. What blocked you prior to um, being in a good relationship? It was either you not balancing work, them not balancing work, balancing time, third party energy type of anything that you ran into pre um, previously that may have blocked you or stopped you, make sure that's removed from around you before you actually open up to give this a possibility. Because some of you, if this is a person that you cross paths with briefly and that you're about to be back together, it's going to go quick. This person been knew that they wanted the babies with you. So they're going to be quick to want to have children with you. This is somebody who been wanted to marry you, but um, felt like if they married you, somebody else was going to be spiteful, so on and so forth. So they're going to know that they want to marry you, whatever the case may be. Okay. So there's certain things that are going to go quick. Um, now the third group, 
There's some of you chosen ones now with me saying this. Not every old energy is that old person that you think about. So even if you go get tarot card readings, no disrespect, I'm not saying nothing negative against tarot card readings. Um, but you have to know what the energy is because you could be hearing about one energy that's describing you. You could hear a sign and think it's this individual, but it's really this other person's um moon sign, sun sign, whatever the case may be. So you have to know the energy and what they're identifying. Also, when you hear new and old, it doesn't automatically mean that the new person is a good person. Person because sometimes the new people that are encountering you are the demons dressed in disguises just to try to see if they can finesse you again. So that old person you disconnected from, that demon no longer has access to you. So they're like, well, since she ain't answering for you, um, let me dress up like this so that she, I know she'll answer for this, right? So that's like somebody not able to get through for you, but they're going to block their number in order to speak to you or call so-and-so um, from so-and-so's phone that you're going to answer so that they can talk to you. So you have to make sure Sure that you're not assuming that the new is for you because sometimes it's the same demon in a different disguise just because they no longer can reach you that they want to get through to you right so know that chosen ones you have to be able to identify again if you need assistance or help i got you the links in my bio if you want a relationship reading want to know if that's a person for you karma whatever i got you but i tell you come to me when you really ready because i'm not going to sugarcoat nothing i don't i tell you i don't care if that person's present if they ass is absent i'm gonna tell you if that person's for you or not i'm not going to sugarcoat so that's just what it is all right so when you're ready to know Links in my bio. I got you. Um, so therefore, again, some of the new energies is the same demons in different disguises. Don't get caught up with them, okay? Now, some of them chosen ones, again, you have new people that are um, what you've been praying for. They're getting presented. This is somebody who um, is everything that you were asking for, but they may look a little different. You have to realize that some of the karmics that you were connected to, they look similar to each other so you got a divine and you got a karmic side so you have a certain type again you might see certain features that are similar to your divine person that your karmic may have whatever vice versa right so you have to see through for the soul so that's why sometimes i'll give you descriptions of the person that's coming in but after i give you that description we focusing on the energy because anybody can come dressed up in disguise as it you might come this part we talking about this person look like this you're gonna have all these little devil's minions try to present themselves like it to throw you off absolutely not so you want to know if that's a person that's a karmic that's a, i got you okay but again some of y'all got new energies that have everything off your list you're like um you don't want to run the risk of being re reattached to karmic cycles you got a new person that's coming in somebody chosen ones that a lot of you it calls with a relocation a lot of you is going to cause with initial distance um but again, that's to um, promote you to relocate or for y'all to come together. So some of y'all have been wondering where you about to live, trying to find a place to stay, um, trying to make your decision on where you're supposed to move to. You wasn't even supposed to have an idea until you align with this individual. They're going to be your confirmation. So you like, dang, should I move from here? Now all of a sudden they talking about this place and you like, dang, that's what it is, right? So also, some of you, when um, you get called or told that you're going to meet them socially, sometimes it's social media. Sometimes it's socially outside, whatever the case may be. Know that those people are about to arrive. You have to be open, chosen ones. So you got to be looking up in order to see them. Don't be looking down. Don't be looking back. Look forward, all right? Your true divine person is going to get your attention. So that's almost like saying, excuse me, you looking up, and then you're locked in, all right? Certain people are waiting to reach out to you. So I can say this. A lot of you had people um, around this holiday time or birthday time, so on and so forth. That's when people are about to start sh shooting a shot. They like trying to figure out how they can initiate the conversation. They like, yo, I'm about to just wait to this special occasion. Now, some of y'all don't wait too long because you might wait to ask this person to dance and they already start dancing with somebody else type of vibe. So don't be out here waiting. If God gives you that push to move forward, push and move forward, okay? Um, there's a lot of you, don't be scared. You're a different person than you are when you was connected to the past. So you can tell the difference. Things that are going to trigger you, it's not for you. Let it go. But this is a season where you're still going to be isolated for a little bit, but it's going to be you isolated with your divine person. So this could be you in the house with them, laid up with them, going on trips with them. You guys having a more intimate setting. Now, lastly, chosen ones, I have to say this. You are to be mindful of what people say about the people that you're connected with. 
So I say this chosen ones because some of you are going to be aligned with people that individuals from their past try to ruin their reputation, just like people try to ruin yours, okay? So you have to know the difference. And I say this chosen ones because there's certain people, now let's just talk. There's some of you, um, let's see what an example. Okay, I'll give you an example, okay? So this is just an example. Um, this is like somebody who is with a child's mother, child's father, ex-girlfriend, ex um boyfriend, wife, ex, whatever the case might be, right? They was in a relationship that God was showing them signs and synchronicities that they needed to get out of it. Now, some of this, this is your story. So you don't go based upon how the roles um, fit, right? Now, some of you was connecting to toxic relationships where the person that you were with was, was manipulative. They be poking a beast. They be out here doing devious things. But because you react, as soon as you say something, they try to play current in a sense. They try to be so dramatic. Because you was private, they tried to go out there and make you look bad. Because you wanted to protect them because you still was nice about them, Um, you still was thoughtful about their position, they out there tried to ruin yours. So there's some Certain people that when you was connected to them or when they was connected to their person, they when that past karmic scene that they were disconnecting from them, no longer wanted to be with them, they wanted to do everything in their power to limit to them. So some of them called the police on them, got them books, could have got them booked for um domestic situations or you booked for domestic situations. Some of y'all, um, they could have had you react to um, certain cheating and stuff, say certain things to make it look like you've always been negative. Some of them will go online and try to act like, oh, they was dealing with a narcissist. They're the villain trying to act like the victim. Now, I say this chosen ones because are there some people that, yes, you um what they said about you was wrong, but you put yourself in that position because you've seen signs and synchronicities that they are a liar. You've seen signs and synchronicities that they're manipulated. So because you know that this person is that type of person that will put you, excuse me, put you in situations that would be not beneficial for you, trigger you, try to have you react, whatever the case may be, because you knew that you was to disconnect. You're not protected anymore when God tells you to get out of situations and you see this person has ill intentions, but you keep talk, come up with excuses why you got to stay connected. That will be, um, that is karma for that. So yes, your ass could get booked. Yes, your ass could, but it's not because you're a bad person. It's because you ain't listened when God told you to get away from them. So now it's your word against theirs and they're a better actor. Karma will still catch up to them, but you might get in trouble for it, right? So be mindful. You might have to sit down next time you're going to think about it, right? Um, there's some of you again, chosen ones. They'll say evil stuff. Now, this is why I say you'll know the difference. It's a difference between somebody who speaks their truth and they're actually playing a role. So somebody who speaks their truth and they're not trying to poke the bear. So if they say that person's abusive or mean or crazy or you're all these things about you, okay, well, they're behind the steam. Why would they poke the bear? So that's like somebody saying somebody's abusive, but you disrespecting them, you yelling in their face, you trying to fight them, you trying to break their shit. Nobody's going to believe, not to even say nothing, nobody's going to believe that you're the victim because you out here being the villain. If you're really scared of that person, you're not going to have no connection with them. If you really believe that this person's a demon, you're not going to be out here interacting with them. You're going to get far away from them. So I tell you this because there's some people that are Intentionally out here ruin reputations because they mad. They upset. They was in their feelings at that time. So they making you look bad. But your the truth is gonna be how you see. So that person shows the ones who sits there and says, um, okay, let's say this. You move on with a person. Now your ex is saying that you're the worst person ever. Oh, she's this or oh, she's that. But just last week, they was in your phone trying to link up. Just last week, they was trying to rub on you, touch on you, wanted to talk to you. Just last week, they were saying they wanted to be back with you, right? So that's how you know it's a lie and a facade. Because if you said that this person is the worst person, why are you still worried about them? Why are you still triggered by them? Why are you still trying to be in their life? Why are you still trying to make things? That's how you know. There's some people chosen ones but they're gonna try to act like because you let them you're the most narcissistic person they learned that damn word tell them to spell it then spell that shit since you keep saying the shit but there's certain people chosen ones that 
are going to be out here um, calling you a narcissist, how to survive this, how to survive, to make you look bad because you finally taking your power back and no longer restricting you. You was being by the book for this individual. Now you're like, no, fuck that. I ain't standing in the house to be stuck up in this motherfucker with you. Absolutely not. No, I'm not, not going to be out here speaking to people because you feel a certain type. No, I'm not about to be stuck in the house all miserable because you mad. Absolutely not. So some of you disconnected from the person, now they mad. Now they owe you dirty. Oh, now they talk about you got something but you just wanted whatever she had or he had then nasty so that means you fucking bonkers then if you say they dirty then you fucking need to be in that room because there's no way that you say this person is all of these things and you still was trying to be laid up to them so cut that shit out some of y'all you mad because the person don't want your ass you talking about if they are a cheater beater deceiver why the fuck you fighting over them then something ain't adding up where your helmet at because something ain't adding up i'm just trying to say no disrespect, something ain't adding up. Because how you out here saying all of these negative things, but you chasing after them. Okay? So, watch it. Because nobody want to hear that shit. It didn't work out for you. You ain't know what to do with the shit. That's what I'm going to say. Some people aren't the worst people just because they wasn't the best for you. Some people are good people, but y'all's asses didn't work together. That's it. Somebody else is going to work. So they could say, oh, um, that's why I say some people, all cheaters is cheaters. Absolutely. But some people call that person a cheater because they disconnected from them. Now you call them cheaters. Y'all ain't been together. Y'all ain't been together. Cut that shit out. In your head, y'all was still locked in. But this person that texts you a few times and shows you seeing signs of synchronicity that they wouldn't fuck with you like that. So cut it out. Some we didn't all been there sometimes where what we thought it was was not what it was. All right. Just know, okay? So karma come to them if they played you, but karma come to you if you play you too. You are not out here. You out here seeking for revenge. Sit your ass down or go to the military then. You want to do some battles so damn bad. Go go do that shit, okay? Go play some Call of Duty or some shit. You out here just want to scope the damn scene around. Go do that. You want to fight all the time. Go play some Mortal Kombat then, motherfucker. You want to fight so bad. Go sign up. You want to fight so bad, I. You want to fight so bad, Mike? Then go get your ass in the damn ring then. Go get paid for it then. You out here ring tinging, motherfuckers. You out here fight. Go do that, okay? Y'all fighting. Fight for them kids like that. Fight that damn cold with some elderberry or some sea moss or some shit. You out here fight. Fight back with that damn eczema. You keep sitting there shedding and shit all over the food and you want to sit there and encourage people that you going to cook it for Thanksgiving. No the fuck you not. I'm understand. You want to fight so much. Fight that damn plaque that's building up in the back. I'm just saying, fight some real shit. Because I'm going to, I'm telling you now. I ain't going to fight the court. 911, what's up? Do we got an issue? Because ain't no fighting over here, motherfucker. We fighting against these demons and real energetically. Physically, I don't have to fight. Mm -mm. I'm not. So you come over here if you want to, Mike. You come on over here if you want to, Ike. And your ass is getting booked, bucko. But again, chosen ones are certain people that, well, you know, if you like ducking and dodging and shit, hitting a little Kim Daly, that's your fucking business. But don't y'all come over here with that shit. Don't you come over here fucking up everybody's evening because y'all drunk and unk, acting stupid. No. 911, what's your emergency? Do we have a problem, Beverly? Do we? Margaret? Charles, are we cool? James, do I need a report him on YouTube? Oh, all right. It ain't none of that crazy shit. It ain't none of that. Talking about, oh, you meet me. You're going to meet the police. You talking about you're going to meet me. Clank, clank. And I might have to, we might fuck around be pen pals after. I might have to write a note to you too. See what happened? If you would have just sat it out, you wouldn't have had to sit that. Hmm? They talking about you got a guest. Now you mad. The person who put your ass in there. Who are you talking to? Don't you dare. I'm just trying to say, chosen one, because y'all out here. 911, what's your emergency? Dude. Oh, all right. They, they going to look on the favorites and see 911 fucking with me. Who the fuck? Don't play with me. I call God just like 911. God? Because shorty got attitude. Shorty talking about she going to put a hex. You going to put a hex on who? God? Get her. Get him. She over there still lying. They still over there frauding. They sitting there trying to lie. Huh. Do I? All right. You better. Did you say? 
I'm trying to tell you. See, I'm the most laid back individual. Don't come over here with that dumb shit. Though I don't care what the fuck y'all got going on. Don't bring that dumb shit over here. And if you got demons, the, the first place that you stop will not be my shit. Absolutely not. You talking about you fighting demons and you chose to come here? You chose to drop, get in my whip? You chose to be what? Fuck no. You chose to get on the phone with me and them demons is on your ass? Absolutely not. That's just inconsider inconsiderate. Mm-mm. Nope. I'm going to say fuck you and them demons. Don't. Mm-mm. No. Because them damn voices be telling you, all right. All right, you swear you talking about them voices in your head. Don't let them voices get you fucked up. All right? You tell them voices that I got about a hundred rounds around this motherfucker. So you might want to talk with them voices a little bit more clear. You better hold that. Yeah. Listen, all right? You all better listen, chosen ones. But seriously, um, who you choose for you is who they choose for you. Some of the people that you connected with could have a history. That don't have nothing to do with you as long as God is intuitively telling you that that person. Now, what they was out here doing magic, all that. That's some shit that I... Now, listen. If somebody got a pass where they was in some street shit before, that's cool. But if you got a pass on doing voodoo, hoodoo, all that, bitch, fuck you. That certain things is non-negotiable. See, I can, I could teach a drug dealer how to... Let them drugs go and push a different product. Be in that different pr I could teach that. Now I could tell, teach a booster how to stop boosting and open a damn boutique. I could do that. All right. I could teach somebody stop reacting. Stop, stop just, you know, I could teach somebody that. But bitch, you was out here doing magic. Oh, fuck. No, that's not negotiable. You used to do that. Now I love the Harry Potter books back in the day. But, Miss, you used to do what? You used to be for where? Oh, you're out of here. Because that can't be trusted. That's just like you, Diddy, talking about he got the drinks. No, absolutely. We know what you do. No. Mm -mm. And when certain people talking about that I know do magic, that I know for a fact because God told me and showed me that these motherfuckers do magic, talking about I'm keeping you in my, th don't keep me in your thoughts for shit. Don't even think about me, motherfucker. So I was just thinking about you. Don't. Don't, because if you try some of that magic shit, you about to get taken out. I'm not flattered by you. I don't know why motherfuckers think it's so cute to do love spell. I don't like that. I don't like you. Okay? Try to keep me bound. Bitch, I'll beat your ass up energetically, because I don't put my hands on people, and you ain't going to put your hands on me. Not one. Y'all heard what I said. But, uh uh you think I'm going to date this fucking little wizard? You out here putting damn roots and shoot all this shit? No. As soon as somebody talking about, oh, they don't know who got, mm-mm. As soon as I start hearing you trying to describe what a different guy, uh-uh. Nope, demon, you ain't going to persuade me. I don't play that. Certain things non-negotiable. You playing with magic? Absolutely not. I got to be, you sit there and think of God as something else, that something else. Now, I know we got different names for it, but that bafflement and all that shit, bitch, uh-uh. Mm-mm. You keep talking about goat. Greatest, uh, uh, that sounds demonic to me. No, 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 absolutely not. No, you out here playing R. Kelly? Fuck no, you can't be trusted. You out here rocking Balenciaga's knowing that they was trafficking babies? Fuck no, can't be around me. Swiper, no swiping. You talking about, um, again, R. Kelly ain't that. You know he was out here talking about little ass girls and you sitting there still singing, seems like you ready. Bitch, seems like you ready to get booked too. You're going to jail. I call judgment on you. Swipe or no swipe then. You out here still hanging out with Jam uh, James or Jamal's ass that got a girlfriend that's 14. You're a predator too. You're getting booked, motherfucker. You out here talking about, mm-mm. Uh-uh. He ain't seen his kids, but talk about he want to have kids with you? Okay, Nick Cannon, you're getting cussed the fuck out. Absolutely not. No, you think you're going to be around my babies, but your babies ain't seen you? Now your babies is feeling bad because they see my babies with you? Absolutely not. Fuck no, swiper, no swiping. At all. No. So, chosen ones, you choose who's with you, but certain things is non-negotiable. Certain things, uh-uh. Again, for me, if you're looking... I tell some of y'all be, I don't like that y'all like to shoot your shot. Some of y'all be scary. Stop that. Like, you just watching. Well, you just watching and plot. Again, that gives the Melvin energy. I don't know if that's the motherfucking name off of um, 
What's the movie? Dang. What's the movie? What's the movie? Y'all know what movie I'm talking about. With Diamond. The Players Club. That little motherfucker who comes out of the bushes and shit tries to push through the door. I don't know. Myron or Melvin. One of them. Don't keep looking at my shit or keep viewing energetically. We know when you're thinking about us and what you're tuning in. Don't keep playing the background because now you about to get sprayed out too now i'm gonna have to hit you energetically with the mace get your ass out of here melvin or myron just out here creepy just out here breathing hard hard and heavy and shit in the backgrounds no anybody i can feel you in my energy and your ass they major you're getting blocked because stop playing with me uh-uh because so soon as you some of y'all like damn when i get blocked for it because mm -mm. no don't play don't play you should sit there try to execute You'll fuck around and get blocked being cute too. Okay, so I'm sorry. But also, some of y'all shoot y'all shot for people. Y'all acting so scary. Like, oh no, nah, I know this person. The worst that they say no, they know block they ass. It never happened. Jeez, y'all scary. Like, dang. Y'all need to stop that. Believe that and you. I'm trying to tell you, sheesh, you over here, keep trying sucking and shit, put your little hand, show the fupa, show it, you out here keep tucking the stomach in, now it look like a Krabby Patty, you done turned one big stomach into three, stop, they like that, sheesh, they like you for you, you out here keep again trying to take a deep breath, now you build like a deeper, stop. Now you look like you, re you ready for war. Now you out here just broad shoulders, little wick. Stop. Stop that. Some of y'all, stop. You keep wearing all these little pads and shit. Try to have your little bubble swaying. If there ain't no, sh stop. Stop it. Now you hot. Now your ass is humming. Now you funky. Stop it. Some of y'all out here buying ass. If you ain't watch that first ass, stop it. Ass got friction. I don't care. If I see somebody with a big butt, I'm thinking like, oh, that's a lot of heat over there. I'm not thinking that's cute. I mean, you might think it's cute. I don't know if some of y'all females like men with big butt. It's like, no. Sit down, Mr. Fat Booty. Now you out here. <laughs> now you out here singing cute tip, Mr. Fat Booty. Uh-uh. Tribe Called Quest type shit. Mm-mm. But seriously, chosen ones, I'm just trying to say, uh uh, some of y'all like your people to fat budget, but if I see somebody with all that ass, I'm just like, girl, it's hot outside. It's 95, it's 95 degrees. Mm mm. That ass is humming. Okay, a little bit of friction. You done walk from the house to the car. Now you gotta splash up again. I'm just trying to say, so some of y'all, you want some shit, and I heard them motherfuckers is funky. And I believe it, because some of them was funky when they was some flat flaps. Now they got fat back there, and it's a funky fat. Okay, so just do what you do. But stop out here. <sighs> My goodness. Some of y'all scared to show your damn, your baldy underneath your wig. Stop it. You done ruined three wigs now because you sleeping in the shit. You a wig is supposed to be like a damn hat to me, a fitted hat. Let's take it. Let's take it off. Put it on the back. Shake it out. Put it on the seat. Y'all out here sleeping in the shit and wondering why you got a permanent fucking basketball headband for your edges. Cut it out. Stop ruining all them wigs. Let them see who you are. Be you. Okay? Be you. My goodness. I be turning my shit like a basketball cap for real. Turn all the way around. The bings is in the back. I be freaking like, shoot. The fuck? Be you. All right? Be you. When I get off of here... Nine times out of ten, this shit's getting pulled off and tossed to the side. Shit. You know what I'm saying? Just relax. You out here ruining bundles for that. Get your hair braided in or whatever they can. Do what you do. Listen, I don't like, do what you do. I tell you all, do what you do. But, <sighs> all right, chosen ones, I love you. I got to get up off here. I do got some culture sessions to do. Listen, the link's in my bio. I tell you all this. Um either later on today you'll know because i'll post a post telling you it's available now i'm gonna do a big sale for the holiday time i was going to stop for the rest of the year but i'm like listen we only got two not even two months a month left and y'all know it's that my earth day season so on the 4th of december i will be off I've been, you know what I'm saying, Sundays I typically take off, but I've been making sure that if y'all need emergency meetings that I've been having, you know, having y'all be able to schedule in those times. But baby, December 4th, I'm chilling, all right? I'm laid back. I'm chilling. 
a few more dates in December. It's going to be designated off. So I just say get your time in because, you know, at the beginning of the year, I got big plans for y'all. Big things, big movements, all right? So I love you so much, chosen ones. I appreciate you. I'm going to post this on YouTube shortly, and then I'll post the other one afterwards. But I love y'all so much. You enjoy your day. Have a beautiful holiday just in case I don't get on again. Um, Until then, enjoy yourself. Don't focus about the name Thanksgiving. Think it's a day that y'all off. Y'all can eat. Enjoy yourself with your people, all right? And I heard they was out here doing nasty shit to the turkey. So scrub your shit off. I don't know. Swipe or no swiping. We rebuke that. But I love y'all. Be great.